Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am probably here to do the absolute most exciting video ever. I just got my box in the mail from Kirby Vintage Chic Sense. I am so excited, I cannot even tell you. So, I just ordered from Kirby once you open on Thursday. Today is Monday, and it's already here. That is quick. So, I missed the first couple restocks, maybe one or two, and I was so upset. And I knew I had to place an order. Kirby, I love her. She's my one of my favorite wax YouTubers and everything like that. So, for her to have her own company, and then being tortured by watching all these videos, Addicted to Nail Polish, um, that mother-daughter duo, I forget her name, Love Makeup Like a Doll, um, all these people making videos, and I'm like... I need to place an order, so I got it, and I'm so excited. Snow day today is from school, so we have no school. Even better. So this is her business card, Vintage Chic Scents, Kirby Welsh. Now, because it's Valentine's Day, she sent me a little bag of sweetheart candies, and then uh, her little doily says, VCS Heart Drew, loves Drew. I think this is absolutely adorable. Absolutely love it. Um, all this was $75, so I think I will start off with the free samples. And look at these heart-shaped bags. Now, there's only one scent in here that I really... There's only one thing in the whole entire order that I really wanted and sold out by the time I got to order it, which was Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again. Sorry if this is loud for now, but I really hope that on her next restock, which I probably will be ordering from, I get to try it out. <coughs> So, the first thing, I will start with a scent shot. Now, her scent shots say Vintage Chic Scents, and it, said, it has the name of the scent and the pour date. So, this was 15 minutes of fame poured fresh on 129. Now, these are the short um, scent shots, which I absolutely love. I do have her scent list printed here for most of them, so hopefully I'll be able to find them. Because I know this will be hard. Okay, 15 minutes of fame. You'll feel you'll feel worthy of Andy Warhol's famous phrase with this trendy combination of Fruit Loops and pomegranate. Let me also say that um, as soon as I opened this box, it immediately just smelled amazing. So all of these combined is absolutely amazing. Um, and Andy Warhol was actually in Pittsburgh, born in Pittsburgh and raised in Pittsburgh, which is pretty cool. So there's that. It pops right out. So it's two-toned. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know how most Fruit Loop scents from vendors are very, very, very strong? They're almost like citrus orangey. This isn't. This is what I say is most authentic to a Fruit Loop scent. Now, I have never smelled any of this. This is first time just open up the box. Yum, yum, yum. I did open everything, but I didn't smell anything. Oh my gosh, that's so good. And this one, which I believe I actually... Let me see. I believe I ordered that in a... Um, in something. Maybe not. Did I not? I don't know. If I find it in here, I'll find it. This one is in Aunt B. Now, Aunt B, um, I actually ordered two of these, so this might be one of the one of the ones that I ordered. I'm not sure yet, because I haven't ordered anything yet. Um, oh, there's this. Never will never go hungry again. Hopefully, I get that one next time. And maybe this isn't on here yet. No, this probably isn't. Oh. In here yet. I'm sorry if this is strange. I just want to make sure I get all the right scent descriptions. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, it must not. Oh, there it is. This scent, which brings together apple pie and zucchini rim. Ooh. And this is my old scent description because she changed the name. But look at this. And one of my friends has an aunt named B. Aunt B. So um, I ordered one for her because I just love the name. But it's all glittery. And this is just a solid color. Solid pink. Or maybe it is a little... No, it's solid. Oh, is this yummy. Um, I really get the zucchini bread. 
And as everybody says, it's not a spicy zucchini bread at all. Oh, is this really, really, really yummy? Yum, yum, yum. And then apple pie. I do get a little spicy from the apple pie. Ooh, but this is yummy. This is going to be so hard to let this stuff cure. This one is a rose in my funny valentine. And I believe this one I do not have the sun description for. Ooh. It's very, very, very fresh. Let me look. <coughs> I'm sorry. I think I'm getting sick. Let me look this up, though. It doesn't take that long. and I figure this is going to be a long video anyway. Oh, is this yummy. This scent description is... In honor of Old Blue Eyes, this scent blending rose jelly, lemon curd, and marshmallow will make you smile with your heart. Yes, this reminds me of the rose jam from Lush. I do get the lemon and the marshmallow in here. Oh yeah, it's really, really, really good though. Very, very, very happy with this one. So yeah. Oh, wait, fold it over. Next scent is Art Deco, which I am super excited about because a lot of people um, rave about this one and I did not get to order this one. So, Art Deco says, Blending watermelon and pomegranate, Art Deco is an ec eclectic tribute to the art style that popularized the 1930s and 1940s. Oh, this one's really, really, really yummy. Um, I do get a watermelon, definitely, from this. It's definitely strong on that watermelon. But there's a purple at the bottom and bright pink at the top. And look at how nice size these roses are. And, they, and um, everybody says that these are her most popular, are the roses. So, whoops. So far, everything is absolutely gorgeous. Seven minutes into the video, and I haven't even gotten three samples yet. This is going to be a long video. This one is in Sweetheart Smoothie. I'm not going to actually open that because I did get a um, clamshell. And let me tell you, look how adorable. And it says Sweetheart Smoothie at the top, which I love because I store my clamshells upright. There we go. Now, can you see... This little heart that says love, the little, oh, it's absolutely adorable, and it is two-toned as well. Oh, this smell, there's grape. This scent, combining sweet candy and marshmallow, is a tribute to conversation hearts. A tasty way to say, kiss me, be mine, and call me since 1901. Well, this one... It's absolutely amazing. It reminds me of grape candy, or grapes in a way. So yeah, it would be the grape candy, but that's just absolutely adorable. And clamshells are my favorites because they're just so easy and organized. So that is one of the clamshells. Now, by the way, her roses are um, three fifty, I believe. Her clamshells are four. And the scent shots are a dollar seventy-five, two dollars. Um, I could be wrong though. This one is in Pod People, and this one I've heard a lot of people, especially um, Tiger Raider, rave about. So there's Pod People, and this was poured on one twenty-nine as well. And this is supposed to be like a cactus and sea salt, which I've never ordered from anybody before. Oh, is this? Oh. This is really yummy. Look at that bright gold sparkle on there. <coughs> Ooh, this is really yummy. This is double layer too. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It is just like the freshest scent. Like this would be great in a bathroom. I'm not saying it's a bathroom scent, but it's just so fresh and clean and Absolutely. Oh, that's yummy. And by the way, I have the most clamshells. This one is in Frankly My Dear with a little mustache on it. And this, I believe, is um, eucalyptus spearmint. Yes, eucalyptus spearmint. And this smells 
really, really, really yummy. Like, absolutely yummy. This is better than Bath and Body Works Eucalyptus Spearmint any day. And this is, look at that adorable little mustache and then the little sparkly beads. There are beads on the top. Which these actually just wipe right off. So if you don't want to um, melt those in your warmer. But adorable. This one is Spoonful of Sugar. Just a spoonful of sugar. No, I'm not going to do that. Um... Ma Mary Poppins taught us that a good spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. With this scent, bringing together trays, leche, cake, and sugar cookie dough, you'll agree that a spoonful of sugar helps everything go down. That is not just the most adorable thing I've ever heard. Oh my gosh. This is really, really, really yummy. It's a very sweet, sugary, cakey type scent. And this has a little cupcake with glitter, and it's... Um, double layer, as you can tell. Yum, yum, yum. It's like this sweet cake and cookie scent. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Try to do the ones that I have the scent descriptions up already for. This one is Mr. Sandman. And this one's simple, it's just... And these are very heavy-duty, um... These are heavy-duty clamshells, too. They're not very um, flimsy. And this is just blue sparkles. <coughs> uh, and this one, Mr. Sandman is sure to bless you with sweet dreams when you melt this scent. A combination of rosemary mint, peppermint, eucalyptus, and spearmint. Which, this one's absolutely yummy. This one's a little bit tougher to get out of the container. Hold up, there we go. Yes, this is really good. I definitely get the rosemary. Ooh, it's very similar to the, um, frankly, my dear, except for that. You can definitely get that hint of, hint of um, rosemary mint in there. I really, really like this one a lot. The next one. Yeah, I don't. I'm trying to get the ones with the same descriptions that I have pulled up already. I don't have any of these send descriptions pulled up right now, so this one is Film Nior. I'll have to... Oh, this this mishmash of glazed cinnamon donuts, snickerdoodle, and marshmallow begs the question, who done it? And look at how adorable, and I have a feeling that it's just going to smell incredible. So this is a white with a... Oh! This bottom white part. Is almost to a T. Bath and Body Works cinnamon sugar donut. Almost to a T. There's just maybe a little bit more spice, but not in a bad way at all. Oh, absolutely yummy. And it's absolutely adorable. Wow, 13 minutes. <laughs> this one is I Believe in Pink. And this is um another double layer. It's red and pink with a little heart in the glitter. And I want to look this one up. This is yummy. This is the clamshell version. Audrey Hempburn believed in pink, kissing, and laughing. Laughter. After melting this scent, combining pink, sugar, and peppermint, you will too. So this is supposed to be like pink peppermint. And yes, it's pink peppermint. To a T, absolute... Incredible. Yum, yum, yum. <coughs> Let me see the next one. Grandma's Pearls. And I know that this one is in my packet. It's just kind of easier to Google the scents or search the scents on her website. And this one... Whether, whenever it was a special occasion, my grandmother always wore a pearl necklace, a true touch of class. This scent brings together lavender, vanilla, and marshmallow. And this one is gorgeous. It has this little um, gold silver flower with some glitter on it. Oh, you can definitely get the lavender. It's very calming and soothing. But the vanilla, marshmallow... 
is a really great touch too. Oh, this is really yummy. I have never really had a vendor that, so far, every single thing I smell, I love. I never had that happen before. This one is Princess of Monaco. I love that every single thing has something special. And Princess of Monaco says, A combination of lemon and marshmallow is as glamorous as Grace Kelly. And here it is. It's just bright yellow with this little blue glitter and this little, like, <coughs> turquoise color. Pearl. It should be coming out soon. There we go. Um, yeah, it's just like a lemon marshmallow. It's really, really yummy, though. Just not like a cleaner lemon, like a bakery lemon. And da-da-da-da, last clamshell. Now, this one does not have a sticker on it, so let me look at what it would be. Imogene's Serendipity Cream Pie. That's one that I did not say Say, yep, yep, this is it. A coconut cream pie sent with a hint of cherry honors my grandmother's Sunday's Sunday desserts, which were rich, filling, and always made from scratch. Oh, this is really, really good, too. Okay, I need to stop saying this is really, really good, because everything is really, really good. And look at the little cupcake. It is, you definitely get equal parts coconut cream pie and cherry. So those were all the clamshells. Next, I will move on to the clamshells. These are the clamshells that I ordered. And I believe I ordered seven clamshells and there's six here, so that's probably the one that I whoa got for um in that sample bag. And here's the other Aunt B. Hmm, this lid won't go on. There we go. So this one is it's just overfilled, which is not a problem in my book at all. And this is poured fresh on the 24th. Then we have Gilligan's Island, which I believe is Bahama Fizz and Banana. Ooh. <laughs> this is, there it is, bright and sparkly. This is going to be like a half an hour long video. Ooh. Yep. <coughs> Immediately, I get the... Bahama Fizz. So there's yellow, and then there's a little blue at the top. Yummy, 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 yummy. I better not keep saying yummy every time. <laughs> Dude. 1927. This is her absolute, um, I was going to say her absolute most favorite, but her, um, what her company stands for, or the main... Her signature scent. So it says, the year 1927 was a... Well, let's just find the thing. Fresh strawberries, pink sugar, and sugar milk is a tribute to early Hollywood. And this is gorgeous. It's like a purpley pink at the bottom and then bright blue with glitter on the top. Yum, yum, yum. Whoop, just lost the lid. Where'd that go? There it is. Um, This is absolute yumminess. It's... Just like, yep, like a pink sugar strawberry blend. Jackson. <coughs> Let me find. Blueberry cobbler and pie crust. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's definitely what this is. Like, I wouldn't even have to read this in description, but look at that. And it's yellow and like a dark pie crust type of color. I immediately get the blueberry cobbler. Immediately. Oh, this is really, really yummy. This is going to be so hard not to melt any of this. Not like I don't have enough wax anyway, but, you know, there's new wax and there's a new company. And I have a feeling that this is going to be my favorite company. This is a My Funny Valentine that I ordered. Ooh, that's yummy. We'll always have Paris. Now, I do not remember what this one is. And this one says... <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, 
It's just an exclusive fruity blend. That's all she says. Ooh, this is just... I don't know what it is, but it's almost like a fruit salad type of smell. I get like a guava, kiwi, banana, a whole lot of good, good, good stuff. So those were all my scent shots. Now let's move on to the clamshell or the roses. This one is the Saturday Evening Post, and it's a three pack. And this is zucchini bread. I know that much zucchini bread. Um, I believe vanilla bean Noel and what else? The zucchini bread vanilla bean Noel. That's it. Oh, this is really yummy. The vanilla bean Noel isn't prominent like the zucchini is, but it does um, make the zucchini more creamy. Whoa. And that's really, really, really yummy. Ooh, pork crush on the 27th. We're getting closer. There's the three pack of that. War of the Worlds, which is. Let me find that. <coughs> I hate being sick. What's up, Nicole? Something to show you. Nicole, I'm making a video. I just told. I told you that. Yeah, after. It's called Frozen Cake Pops. Oh, Frozen Cake Pops. Okay. Can you go in your room, please? I have to own lots of different videos. So, this one is War of the World. Sorry. She just got an iPad for Christmas, so that's all she does. Ooh, and this one says, The world would never be the same after this epic clash of the three most popular scents. Serendipity, Fruit Loops, and Marshmallow, created by Tiffany of Tiffany Candles. Now, that just makes it great because her Serendipity is my favorite Serendipity, so I definitely get that. Fruit Loops is um, really great. Everything is just really great. Bogey and Basile. Basil. And this one is a Valentine's Day one. I know that much. I hate that I have to look up each one for you guys, but the names don't tell me. Don't bogart this scent, my friend. You don't need to have your hair on your chest to appreciate this manly scent, which includes blue sugar and vanilla sandalwood. Oh, definitely. It's definitely a cologne-type scent. It's really, really good, though. It's... I definitely get the... I get equal parts. Vanilla sandalwood and the... Blue sugar. It's really, really, really yummy. Last two. Gumshoe Detective. Which is... Okay. Which is... Bubblegum and Marshmallow. Ooh. Boy, it's definitely bubblegum. And the marshmallow is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. This is a pink on the top and blue on the bottom. <coughs> um, this is definitely bubble gummy. And then the last one is afternoon petty fours, and there's three different, two different ones. I like that. I love that she puts the different color in the middle. I just think that's so classy and just so like she put time and effort into it. This scent combining blackberry jam, butter cookies, and lemon is best served with a spot of tea. And, oh my goodness, this is absolutely yum, yum, yum to the max. It's everything that I want in a, um, in a scent. Like, the blackberry jam, butter cookies is awesome, because I love bakery scents, so this is absolutely yummy. Well, so far... If I had to give her a rating out of 10, it would be 15. <laughs> Literally, this stuff is better than I even expected it to be, which I did expect it to be awesome. So to make it even better than what I expected, that just makes everything. So Kirby, next restock, I will be there. I will be ordering. I will be waiting, stocking the site like everybody else. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give that to my friend now. After that, I might just... Have her smell it and save it for myself because it's really, really, really yummy. But um, anyway, thank you very, very, very much 
thank you so much for watching this 25 minute video. It's so worth it with her. Um, I will put the link to her Facebook group and the link to VintageChicSense.com so you can check out and order on the Facebook page. It will give you the t dates of the restocks. So she's very busy, very amazing person. I love you, Kirby. You did absolutely amazing on your orders on everything. It's just awesome. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!